Okay, so just got off at the um, the bus terminal here in Laos, and this is what it looks like. We are in Laos. We finally made it to Bien Tien, and like Bien Tien. When you read it, Bien Tien. Comment down below what it what it's called. But anyways, like this bus station is like I feel like it's like the bus station that we were just at, but in Laos. But honestly, like the vibe here is like so different. We were like swarmed by like taxi drivers and we're just like nah it's gonna walk and they, they kept going up to her and like taxi 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 yeah. all right um so now we're gonna try to check in early at our hotel so that's where we're gonna go okay so after uh, making it to the hotel they won't let us like check in early um i think the earliest they're gonna do it for uh 10 30. so right now i'm gonna go try to find a motorbike rental and once we get the motorbike and we'll finally be on wheels and won't just be like trapped walking because I feel like once you have a motorbike it gets a lot better but yeah this is like Bien Chin Bien Chin Laos welcome to Laos it's about you. So definitely my first impressions of Lao, like, um, besides getting like, <laughs> like scammed, <laughs> but I think like most of the people are pretty nice though, to be honest. Like, I haven't had like a really bad interaction at all. Like really, it's just like scams, but that happens like everywhere. When you when you travel enough, I feel like um, a lot of places have different kinds of scams and stuff. And you can't really hold that against like the country and stuff, you know, because like you know people are trying to make a living, right? So, and we shouldn't be too mad about that so but for the most part though like i feel like a lot of people are really family oriented um i went into the bathroom and they were cooking some food in the bathroom like it was it was kind of awkward okay <laughs> it's, it's not cooking food they just like bowl some like a herb to like make some nail food so it was like it, it was like banana leaf wrap it wrapped something in banana leaf right and it made the bathroom smell like like lemongrass that's what it smelled like but like cooked lemongrass like imagine it keep boiling inside the bathroom but uh, like it's just different for me it's just different um i, I, have, I have never seen that I've so i've never seen in my life also <laughs> like she, almost as you can see a lot of hotels use like um diffuser yeah yeah diffuser yeah, diffusers and stuff a lot, but, but this is my first time that i see that they bowl her honestly i think because um with Laos right now like it's still like a developing country right so like there's still a lot for it to like you know develop and like be modernized because coming from Bangkok right Bangkok is pretty modernized in my opinion and also like me being from the US and stuff like yeah this the culture is different um a lot of like the uh, the life the lifestyle and stuff like that so yeah um, we're going to go get this motorbike right now and yeah you can see like it's it's pretty lively over here like pretty chill it's kind of like makes me kind of think of vietnam a little bit like when i go to vietnam and like some areas of vietnam it kind of feels like this um i, I definitely look, even have look right when i said vietnam look it got fall right here look it got fall right here <laughs> so i think I, honestly, I, I I seen a lot of like Vietnamese people do immigration too, which I'm Vietnamese as well. So, like, I think a lot of Vietnamese people actually come travel to Laos. But yeah, it's pretty cool because I don't see the Vietnamese population that much in in Thailand when I'm in uh, Bangkok, or at least I don't like really see them too much because I see more of like Koreans and Jap Japanese and stuff like that and Chinese. But here, like, Laos has like it's different like flavor like. It has a different vibe for sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
much is it? Uh, for one day. One fifty. Oh, okay. What, which one do you think? This one. Is it the same price? The same. Yeah, the same model. Okay. Will they want the white one? Or the... Um, this one. What one? Mm. Okay, we'll do this one for one day. What is it? The bike document. Oh, the dark document? Yeah, the bike. Okay. Uh, yeah. Never mind, I will replace another one. Okay. And then, uh, gas? Gas only. Or one uh, what does it take? 91? Uh, regular. Regular? Mm -hmm. Okay. The nearest, uh, the nearest petrol station, you go, you go to this road, mm -hmm. the first traffic light turn right in street. Okay. Return the uh, bike tomorrow tomorrow morning. Yeah, the same time. Do you need a copy or not? Oh, yeah, can I get a Just signed it. I signed it. Now we're gonna go drive around Vientiane, Laos. Welcome to Laos.
gonna town this mall. I don't know what to expect, but I'm kind of getting the, the Vietnam vibe here a little bit, you know, being in house. It's not like Thailand. It's not like... Yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> Stairs. I think I think this mall just opened because it's like about like nine o'clock now. So a lot of people are just getting set up and stuff. And it's on. I don't think there's like AC going through. This is kind of like an outdoor indoor mall. If that makes sense. Like the a lot of the ventilation is coming from like outdoor. Right now, I think like a lot of the shops haven't like really opened up. So we might hit it up again uh, in a later time because. Uh, there's only like a few shops that's open right now and there's a lot of it is just like clothing jewelry and stuff like that but like a lao style kind of clothing which is, which is kind of unique like you can check that out see Yeah, we have to go downstairs though. Yeah, we, we have to go downstairs. นี่เปิดยังไง oh. เอาเต็มถังค่ะ
this is the first food we got was um some pho and bun mi si mai so like i was thinking like why do they have so much vietnamese stuff here so i wanted to try it so this is what we got <laughs> 